Platt here, and today I'm going to try a beer inspired by one of America's great classic rock bands. That's next on Platt's Beer of the Week. So today I got a beer um, that is an actual collaboration. It comes to us from Dogfish Head Brewing. And you could probably tell by the dancing bear up front that it is inspired by the band The Grateful Dead. Um, if you're a little bit younger, you might not know The Grateful Dead. Uh, they were formed in 1965 by um, Bob Weir and Jerry Garcia uh, and the rest of the gang. They were pioneers in the psychedelic rock jam band genre. Back then, they were kind of counterculture, uh, outside the norm, but uh, over the 50 plus years they've been performing, they've become an integral part of American uh, rock music. And in a roundabout way, they've become mainstream. Um, even though Jerry Garcia is not with us today, there's various iterations of the band that still tour to this day. Uh, the band is not too much unlike the brewery that produces this beer. Dogfish Head itself started in 1995 by Sam Calgione. Uh, I believe his motto was off-center ales for off-centered people <laughs> or something like that. And he was very, I don't know if I'd use the term counterculture, but uh, he did some real extreme brewing, tried some real unique beers, uh, one of them being Midas Touch, which was inspired by an ancient Mesopotamian uh, beer recipe. I believe it's Mesopotamians or Sumerians or something like that. Uh, anyway, he made some strange beers, but over the 20 plus years he's been brewing, close to 25 now, he's uh, become an accepted member of the Craft Brewing Association, and so much so that um, his company's grown to the point now where he, they have merged with uh, Samuel Adams, Boston Beer Company, and uh, Sam will eventually take over the combined company uh, someday. So he's gone from uh, outsider to mainstream, just kind of like the band itself. Um, before we try the beer though, let's review the specs on this particular beer. All right, so like I said, the beer's a collaboration between Dogfish Head and the Grateful Dead. Uh, the collaboration started around uh, 2013, and both Dogfish Head and the Grateful Dead have taken, taken pride in uh, full participation or interaction with their fans. So they allow fans to vote on some of the ingredients in this beer. Actually, the number one um, submitted ingredient for this beer is granola. This beer is uh, brewed with granola, wildflower honey, and uh, since the Grateful Dead's a great American rock band, they're sticking with all-American hops. Uh, this is a pale ale, um, so let's give her a try. Alrighty, kind of standard pale ale color, got a nice, I got a nice thick light khaki head on it, plenty of bubbles. Alright, I get a little malt on the nose, some light hops, not, not too aggressive either way. Let's give her a try. Oh, that's very nice. Nice, very drinkable pale ale. Plenty of those traditional West Coast Cascade style hops, but not too much either way. Um, I do pick up a subtle hint of that wild or wildflower honey. Um, I don't know if the granola is <laughs> really present, but overall, just a nice, very drinkable beer. Um, something I could definitely drink in an outdoor concert, you know. Um, it is a little over 6%, but uh, I don't think a uh, couple of these would uh, do too much damage to you. Um, One more sip. Yeah, real nice beer. Medium body. There's a little, um, little oomph to it, um, but nothing over the top. Again, very drinkable. Something, uh, and it's not 
heavy enough where I would say you couldn't drink in the summer, what have you. Very pleasant beer. Um, like I said, something I could definitely drink at an outdoor rock concert. Um, I might have to throw a little dead on, on finish her up. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe down below. Also, please uh, let me know if you kind of like this new format I'm shooting in. Uh, normally, I shoot in the kitchen all my videos, but I thought, well, I'll try something new with this new series. I uh, got a little poker table here, so I thought I'd give it a try. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, also, please like the video because it lets YouTube know we're putting out good content. Any questions, comments, concerns, or you want to suggest a beer for me to try, please leave in the comment section, or you can always contact me on the Twitter page. Till next time, bottoms up.